just because they are in school, but some of them work full time uh, mm -hmm. or part time, and then they have school. So sometimes it's kind of hard. If, do you have like maybe a one to three things that they can do to? You kind of talked about that, but uh, they can do to um, really engage in balancing those, you know, their mm -hmm. work and the school and their their extracurricular activities. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, if they have an interest in a club or an organization, mm -hmm. that's a great thing. Yeah. They may be doing some work in the club, but let's say they go out in the community, something that we want to propose all the time, and we have, you know, we have thousands of hours our students spend in the community on community engagement. Yeah. like a service learning project. Mm -hmm. let's, let's say you're, you're in the service learning project. You're not doing a paper. You're not reading. But you're with your colleagues and you're engaged in some project. Maybe you're going over and uh, painting a house or you're at, you know, volunteering at a school. You're coaching or you're teaching kids how to play the violin. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, yeah. it's just something that's different. So when you're a college student, what I tell college students all the time, especially when I taught, Go to stuff. Mm -hmm. Go to a lecture. Watch a movie. Go to a play. Go um, see a sporting event. Just go. And especially go if it's something you know nothing about or maybe it's something you think that you don't like. Because if you don't experience it, maybe it's just a perception. And it may be a misperception. Maybe it's gonna, you're going to turn out to love the symphony. Yes. <laughs> you just don't know. But just experience as much as you can in college and then it gives you a sense about the world.